Okie dokie, ignore what's on the labels. This lot is my remaining white sugar, 35-ish percent spirits. This lot and a bucket over there, which has about three and a half liters in, is my brown sugar wash. So as I've got so much of this shit, and I don't really drink that much other than for my hips, I'm gonna experiment. This is wild garlic. So all I'm gonna do is I'll give it a shake out to make sure there's no bugs. Yeah, they're a little bit full. That tastes really nice. These, the white sugar ones, all have about a level teaspoon of sugar in the bottle, and it makes a massive difference. That is getting one little bit of wild garlic, as I've got a ton of it growing in the garden. This one, as it's got more space in the bottle, it's getting a lot more. Hassle with wild garlic is animals like the piss on it because it smells. So make sure you give it a quick shake out, take it from a place where they can't reach. So today's date is, fuck no, 2023. <laughs> so I'll give that a go. And we'll see how it tastes. So all this has in these bottles is 35% distilled spirit and a little bit of sugar in the bottle to take the edge off. The brown sugar does not, uh, the brown sugar mix I made does not require any extra sugar or any extra flavoring. It is fucking gorgeous as it is. Yeah, the brown sugar one has so much flavor, it would be sacrilegious to try and add botanicals to it. Whereas this one, it tastes really good. I mean, really, really nice. That little bit of sugar in the bottle makes a massive difference to the flavor. It really brings out the fullness of the flavor. So um, yeah, ignore the labels. These are all yeah, just so I can see what's going on. 